What's up, guys? It's Caliber here. And I'm Pearl. What are we coming to talk about today, babe? Um, we're coming to talk about you. Oh, what about me? Um, well, we were kind of talking today, and we realized that it's been, how many months did we say? Oh, it's been nine. It's been approximately nine months that you've been sober. Yeah, so, uh, in case you guys didn't know, um, I actually had a little bit of an issue with alcohol. Now, Pretty much. Whenever he would drink it, he would get very angry and outside of himself. And wouldn't really have any control over his actions. Which is no excuse. It's not an excuse, but it, it was it was definitely a, uh, a problem, to say the least. But you made a decision about nine months ago, and what was that? <laughs> to stop drinking. How's that going for you? It's going good. I mean, now, when I say stop drinking, I mean, like, stop drinking every day. Uh, you still have the occasional beers. If it's just one, it's not going to hurt you. So, we'll put this out there. Yeah, I, honestly, I did I'm drink. pretty sure the last time you had, like, a beer was, like, two months ago. Yeah, two months ago, and that's, what, one beer out of nine months? Yeah. So. But, I, I do want to get to the basis of that I was not actually an alcoholic, even though I thought I was. I just abused alcohol a lot. And a lot of that had to do with my mental state. Yeah, it was. So... I've been learning a lot about um, trauma and PTSD and addiction and, uh, and stuff like that for, for a number of reasons. So the difference between a substance abuser and an alcoholic is you never stop being an alcoholic. Um, it never goes away. It's, it's, a, it's more than an addiction. It's a compulsion. And... Um, Pretty much, it's something that you end up not being able to live without. And people who are alcoholics, who are sober, the reason, like pretty much most alcoholics that become sober never stop attending stuff like AA because they need that constant reminder that they can't drink. Or if they have one drink, it'll lead to six more. They can't just have one drink. And that's the difference between someone who used alcohol to cope with their emotions, i.e. substance abuse, um, versus someone who has the compulsion that they have to keep drinking. And I think that the phrase alcoholic is thrown around a lot because, you know, someone drinks a little bit more than what people think they should and they're automatically branded an alcoholic, but it is a very serious condition to be an alcoholic and it is also um, it's debilitating and it's for life. You never stop being an alcoholic. It never goes away. But you don't have the compulsion to drink. No, I don't. Like, it, it's... I don't have the compulsion to drink either and it's hard to imagine somebody who goes through their entire like, through their life spiraling into this compulsion and giving into it and it just... It's a sad thing to think about, and I think the word alcoholic is thrown around too much, honestly. But no, it's uh, it's been nine months, and it's going great. Did you say so? Yeah. Just, everybody's wondering, water. Yeah. Um, I don't know, there's, there's definitely been a... a since you stopped drinking, there's been a, a change in your mood. You've been, overall, you've been happier since you stopped drinking, and you've also been calmer, so that that's a plus. I still have my moments. Everybody does. Like, that's the thing. Nobody's perfect. There's no such thing as failing if you tried. Yeah. Like, everyone's going to have moments where they're angry. Everybody's going to have moments where they're out of their own mind. Everyone's going to have... Everyone's going to say things they regret. Everyone's going to do things they regret. 
that's just who we are as humans. And it's it's not so much the mistake itself, but where you go from it. So if you don't learn from that mistake, then yeah, you, you fail. Um, but if you do learn from your mistake and you get up and you move on and you go, okay, that's not that's not okay. That's I'm, my life's not going to go anywhere. Like you decided nine months ago to stop drinking, my life's not going to go anywhere. If I if I do this, then and you change it, then you are an incredibly strong person. Yeah, and I I will say most people would label me as an alcoholic because considering how much I've actually drank, and even in one sitting, I mean. It's not really something to be proud of, but I was just a binge drinker and a substance abuser. That's really it. Yeah, but that, that's not an alcoholic. And I think that there's a lot of people who don't understand the meaning of the words that they use. And those people need a better education. <laughs> you ain't lying on that one. But anyway, yeah, this, this is mostly just a video because uh, I'm incredibly proud of him. I don't know if anybody else wants to join me on that bandwagon. I'm sure that uh, there's some people that, that would, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to her. Her, her channel is Tarot Storm. Anyways, guys, this is Caliber and Tarot signing out.